Hi, I'm Michael Polarski from, with another Friends of the Trees Botanicals video. And this time we're going to be wild harvesting yellow dock, Rumex Crispus. This is at my friend's place. This is the chicken yard. They're not out right now, but so this is, he, he wants a lot less of this non-native invasive plant here. That's a really big stand of it. Actually, it's an excellent stand. I've been digging yellow dock here for, you know, probably two decades. Um, and still, it seems to be getting, you know, it's, I'm not really having much effect. Uh, it keeps coming back because there's so much seed in the system. But at any rate, here we are, and we just want to demonstrate digging this yellow dock. And this is especially for my friends at the uh, Drylands Permaculture course I just came off of. I wanted to do this for hands-on. We didn't get to it, so this is sort of the makeup, kiss and makeup. And I especially wanted to show, you know, Sarah Morgan and Valerie the, and Robert and Sonia the white man's digging stick. So this is uh, this is what I use for almost all taprooted plants: lamation, balsam root, red root, um, wild burdock. And I have two sizes. This is this is the killer bar here, quite a bit taller and quite a bit heavier to swing. A lot of the times I just make do with a lighter bar, depending on what I'm after. But this gives you more leverage, so it's more work to use it but you have better leverage. Most native digging sticks are not as long as this. It's interesting to note that in Hawaii they had uh, hardwood. They took koa and sanded it down and got it to a fire hardened finish point and they called them o'o bars and so the Hawaiians are very familiar with this concept and also you'll see this a lot in Southeast Asia in the Indonesian archipelago Papua New Guinea and uh, in parts of South America where the people do slash and burn or what we call swidden agroforestry systems and, and, and so this is very common for them so this is not uh, only white mass digging tools except that in the past people made them out of really hard heavy wood and so to start with you have to work your way around the patch around the root and at a shallow angle notice my, oops, notice my angle here um, it's pretty it's, I'm just trying to work all the way around it to start with there's a side one right here and that just sort of loosens it up and then I have to go from the lowest part of the plant which is this side here and go as deep as I can and then leverage it up and, and they don't even have to totally, usually you want to see it pop out. Sometimes you can, so there's our yellow dock root. It's supposed to be a biennial, but here it operates pretty much as a perennial. So that's a couple year old plant, big root. Lots of, should be pretty yellow inside the, the deeper the yellow or the orange actually, when really good ones get orange, the deeper the color, the more the iron, the better the medicine. So this is this is nice stuff. There's a lot of orange in there. Deep, deep yellow, orange. And this one, it didn't pop up, but I can I loosened up enough around it that I could just pull it up like a tooth. Consider yourself an earth dentist. Uh, and you have to get the tooth out without damaging them as little as possible. This root is rotted here won't get much out of that piece but that's mostly good stuff but the next step is to take your loppers and cut off the crowns below the hair and stuff so it's just pretty much straight root and that they'll get washed up air dried and shipped to the buyer in a couple of days here so that's the product so there that's this is how I dig tap-rooted plants in the wild and in this case in the chicken yard um, and so you know these are really handy to have folks and if you don't have these make yourself an OO bar bye probably four minutes